Hello, this is Simon Partridge for Dover Community Radio. We are conducting an interview with uh, uh, Mr. Jones. And, uh, so, could you please, for our listeners, could you tell us who you are, please? Uh, good afternoon. So, my name is Mr. Jones. I'm a partner in MK Shepherd Jewellers, which is a family run business. I'm the son in law of Mr. Shepherd, who was originally here for 40 years. I've been here for five. So, it's been, we've been going for 45 years. We are based at the end of the High Street at 112, near the traffic lights. I see there are many watches, jolly nice ones and fairly inexpensive. Do you have any stories to tell about that? I mean, uh, with the watches, we, uh, we've we looked at different, uh, different places to buy watches. We found companies that we can trust over the years, which my father-in-law was using before I come here, and I'm still using them. Um, they do reasonable price, so I can give the customers a reasonable price. I mean, I do have some customers which are plumbers, and they buy the, the my four pound fifty watches because they're quite easy, they can break. In case, in case, yeah, just in case they break. It. Well, I mean, uh, where where you're a plumber, you might hit it with a hammer or something similar, and you'll break the glass. So they just replace it with a, another. You know, that goes with the watch. watch. Yes. Uh, but I, I think you've got a really nice stock of watches. Actually. Well, we do try. I mean, I we try to, try to uh, have a deco. Keep different ones. I mean, you say they do. This company I use, especially, they're actually based in uh, West Bromwich, in the Midlands, and uh, they have a website as well. So I can go on the website and have a look. But they do get, send me a catalogue. Oh, marvelous! Are, are modern timepieces more accurate? They are. I mean, uh, we. Do, we do have some what they call radio controlled watch, uh, clocks and watches. What they are, they're, they have a signal sent from the National Physiological, I can't say it now, Physiological Society um, lab, which is based in rugby. And oh, wow. they get the time from Greenwich and then they send out a signal twice a day to keep it perfect time. Right. So it should be right within the millisecond. Wow. Like sort of atomic club. <coughs> it's good to know what the time is. You can maybe make a present of time. Um, do they still produce mechanical watches? You can still get them. I mean, a lot of them now are what they call autos when it comes to mechanicals. On the, rather than having to wind them up every day, yeah. they're on your wrist and their movement of your wrist winds the watch I mean, up. Marvellous what they can do. Isn't it? Yes, yeah, I mean, they, they have been going for a while, these uh, the autos, but that's the the ones you usually get if you get it, a with, with the, with the um, increasing technology, is it easier to repair or...? Maybe more difficult if, if the old ones. Sometimes, I mean, uh, quartz watches. The the newer, the, the ones with the radio control ones are quite awkward to to do, and the chronograph. But the the normal basic the upper, ones upper are. Range, upper, upper, yeah, upper end of the market. Well. Yes, yeah. Well, I love your silver section. What I want to say is, there's something special for the loved one, especially I, I like I actually like your second hand silver collection. Um, well, say so when we're when we're buying it, not just from people off the street, such when the second hand selection. Not when we're buying from different various companies, we try to find bits of certain times of the year. For instance, you've got oh, Valentine's coming course, up, yes. so you buy things with hearts or something like that. When it comes to things like Mother's Day, you buy things with Mum and things like that to Does keep it all the, the right time. Because I I, I, do, I do believe some people like silver and some people like gold. Yes, I mean, uh, uh, we're selling a lot more silver at the moment because of the, go- the price of gold at the moment. Gold has risen a lot. They're both the very time. romantic, aren't they? Rom- gold is an especially romantic metal. Yes. And by the way, what, what is platinum? Is it dearer than gold and is it always white? Platinum is, is dearer than gold, yes. It's not really white. It's more of a, like a... Um, a dark steel sort of colour. It's rather than it is a dearer a metal than gold. Yes, it's a very rare metal, isn't it? Yes. I was wondering, do 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 you find your um, customers wear something maybe as a statement of personal identity? Some people or do. I mean, some people. The, many a few years back, of course, people would wear ID bracelets and have their name sorry, written on them. Big things like, yes, but nowadays, not really. You do get some people. Um, some people have it as a gift, uh, a present. And they have the engraving done on it for, for instance, the other day I did one for a, a lady and she wanted it done for a grandson. It was his 18th birthday, so she had it done specially for his Very 18th special. birthday in his name. I see, I see, yeah. So, um, I think, I think you cannot change who you are, but you can change what you wear. Yeah, yeah. 
<coughs> and diamonds and other stones. I wondered, to, maybe a silly question, what, what is the difference between gemstones and precious stones? Rock. Uh, precious stones are diamonds, rubies and emeralds. Semi-precious stones are amethyst, turquoise and garnets, etc. like that. Right, oh wow, that's good. Okay. Because when I say precious, when it says gemstone, it's from the Latin gemma meaning twin, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's, always, it's probably a riddle there, isn't it? Yes, yeah. And said, <coughs> I was going to just say something my own father said. You want me just to... Good afternoon, N.K. Shepherd. So I was going to say, they, they say a diamond is forever. My own father said that when my deceased father, Geoffrey, said, when I asked him to te- how to tell a diamond, was I was one, was, he said, Simon, the only thing I know about diamonds is that they, that, that they sparkle. <laughs> I mean, d- the reason they say diamonds is, are forever is because they're so hard, they don't wear That's out. Right, exactly. um, a funny story I've got about diamonds is my wife's got some diamond rings on her, her fingers Lovely. and once she's done the washing up she hasn't taken the rings off and Ooh. she's actually cut a glass in half with the ring <laughs> because the, ring, the diamond being so hard it literally cut so round hard. and done a circle and cut yeah, yeah, round oh, yeah. I mean it's all done the actual quality of diamonds is done on the, the, the light the clarity of the diamond and the shape of diamonds is, is, there is various different shapes like the pink panther the mythical diamond I actually, yes. Did you know I actually saw the um, the Millennium Diamond? Oh, you've you seen the Millennium Diamond. That's right. right. They, they had a little set of blue diamonds, quite 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 nice sparkles. They were about like two centimeters to a centimeter in, right, in okay. diameter. So it was, that was a bit special. And so what I think is, when they come to your shop, they can. There's it's the whole price range for anybody. Who, what we you want to spend. We literally start for. from a sort of pocket money, you know, children's pocket exactly, money. Exactly, exactly. Up to dearer. We don't do... To the we, we can, industry. we don't stock it, but we can order very expensive stuff, but we don't actually mm-hmm. stock it in there. Because yeah. was, was earrings are always a charming gift. Yeah, I mean, we've, we've got some earrings at the moment, especially sort of for the children from the low end, so things with animals on them. If you fall in love with a particular piece, then you can just... Yes, it it's literally it, coming it? in. Um, I mean, we do ear piercing. Um, and that starts from little children up, upwards, of course. Um, so uh, sometimes, you know, they have the piercing, they see earrings, and when they come in and have the piercing, so they come back and buy the earrings after they've had the piercing a bit later on. Is there a market for slip-on earrings? No, it used to be years ago, used to be in market, but not very often. You don't get many people ask for slip-ons anymore, or, or clip-ons. Yeah, well. So we can find you discreetly tucked in next to Payton by the Tower Hamlet Crossroads and the London Road. Yes, I'm, I'll say, I'm, I'm sandwiched in between Panache clo- Clothing and Bliss... Um, I'm trying to think what he's called. Get, I wouldn't just say you can get, get, get your maps out. <laughs> yes, get the maps out. Yes. Others. So hopefully our listeners will visit your shop. I was just going to just find it. I say I can remember your father from years ago. Yeah, um, he still does uh, clock repairs. He's still in in the trades. Well, he's still um, he still does you, mechanical you, clocks. He's given you rain, has he? He's given me rain. Yes. I mean, say I've been here for five years now. It come to he come to sixty five, so he retired at his retirement age. So I've been here for five years. Myself and my wife, you'll only find the two of us here. Much so hopefully, we still give the same service that he, he give for many years and still try to. Yeah. It's still um, a family run business. Is it, have you got any favourite objects? Myself, I, I do like the mechanical clocks. Yes, yeah. Because um, the older ones are getting rarer and rarer, and it's just the sound of them, the actual sound of a Westminster chime, I think, is marvellous. Right, well, well, I'll say, I'll say um, thank you very much. And signing off for Dope Community Radio, Simon Partridge and, uh, and Mr. Jones.